In today's session, we'll be doing question three from the January sitting of the... In this session, we'll be doing question three from paper two of the January 2024 sitting. That's for chemistry, that's right. Let's just get right into it. This, I find this to be therapeutic, having to, and it reads, so the first question, this is from organic chemistry, as is, it's a, this is from organic chemistry. There are two questions from organic chemistry. This is the first one. Figure four, compound, sorry, figure four shows compound A, a hydrocarbon, which is often produced from the cracking of petroleum fractions obtained through the distillation of crude oil. All right, so it has all of six carbons. Yes, and um, that's 14 hydrogens. That must mean something, but let's not preempt. Define the term cracking. Okay, gotta get cracking. So cracking is, we're just gonna write as we speak or write it, then we read it. So it's the breaking down of long-chained hydrocarbons into smaller and more useful ones. And they want us in part 2 of A to state one type of cracking that can be used to make can be used to make hydrocarbons. Right. So we have thermal cracking or we could give them catalytic that involves the use of a catalyst. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next um, section. All right, just. All right, so we're at part B, part one of B. List three general characteristics of a homologous series. So the first one will be they have the same general formula formula two they have the same functional group. They have the same ending name, or is it name ending? So they're from one family, so that would follow. Name the homologous series to which compound A belongs. So above we saw compound A. It had six carbons. There was no carbon, carbon, double bond, only carbon, carbon, single bond, and carbon to hydrogen, single bond. So we'll name that. That one is the, that component is from the alkanes. And the general formula for the homologous series to which compound A belongs, alkanes, that's CnH2n plus 2. And we'll just do that again. So there are no issues with clarity or resolution. All right, so it's C N H2, and those are subscript plus two. And that, that takes us to the next section.
part 4 of B, write the molecular formula for compound A. So earlier we said that we saw that compound A has six car six carbons and it had um 14 hydrogen. So it's C6H14. All right, and they didn't ask us to name it, so we will not name it. But what do you think it is? So now we're at part C, the last part that will give us the four marks that we need to get um, the full 15 marks here. Now I'm going to answer part one of C and part two of C together. Of course, if you're finding value here, be sure to like um, the channel, like the video as a matter of fact, um, share with a friend, share with a classmate. And if you're struggling with chemistry, be sure to sign up for a tutorial session with Chem with Chem. All right, so part C, part one of C. In the space provided below, draw the fully displayed structure of two structural isomers of compound A. Now, you can scroll back to look at compound A and you'll see that they gave it a, they gave it a, it was straight chain, right? Um, you could call it N, Hexane, it's six carbons. Um, but um, the other thing to note is that we can't use the one they gave us. We need two different structures. We can't use the one that they gave us. So the one they gave us earlier on, that is out. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that same one and we're going to cut it up. So this is what we'll do. We're not just cutting, we're going to form a new structure, a structure that's different from the one that was given. And the second time around for isomer two, we're going to draw or represent a structure that's different from isomer one and that's different from the one that was given in the question earlier. So let's go. So what we're going to do, we're going to, all right. So we have four, five, six so i'm showing you where it's coming from where we're getting the um where we're getting our isomer from all right so we can count one two we can count one to six from either side it doesn't matter which one you start with all right so what we're gonna do next we're gonna cut i'm gonna cut from the right hand side i'm gonna cut off that methyl group, and I'm gonna actually um, put it on this carbon. If I'm putting it on this carbon, it means this hydrogen or the one above it is gonna take its place. So they're switching over pretty much. All right, that's what we're gonna be doing. When we do that, let's see what things will look like. So we're going to take off our, take off the extra markings. And then we're going to do just what we said we would do. So we're going to take this CH3, this methyl group. And when we take that off, it means it's not terminal again. It's not at the end. Okay, so we're going to take over to um, erase the hydrogen next door. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to put our hydrogen gonna put our hydrogen here and we're gonna put the methyl group we're gonna draw it out the methyl group here and we're just gonna name that once and for all so they ask us to name or name it a little bit later on so this is one two three four five and as I did that I realized that the hydrogens need to be on so so it's on carbon number two there's a methyl group so we'll say this is two to state the position of the methyl and we'll say it's methyl and the longest chain is five so we call that pentane all right and then we can we can we can continue by moving this methyl group to carbon three 
in the next um, part, we can do that. So we're gonna one, two, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna put on our hydrogens. Cannot leave our carbons naked. Got to, we have to clothe them properly. All right. So that's still five, but this time we'll put in the methyl. I hope this is, okay, let's finish with the dressing up. I was a little hasty. I put the methyl group, I shifted it from carbon number two to carbon number three. Whichever side we count from one, let's get red to highlight this. One, two, three, four, five. If we counted the other direction, it would be one, two, three, four, five. So on carbon three, there's a methyl group. I'm just giving a half a circle just so we can see it. So we're saying that on that methyl group, on carbon three, there's a methyl group. So we'd say three, we separate numbers from letters using a dash. So this is three methyl pentane. And I'm um, just looking at this. There are... There is a there is another um isomer, but they, they've asked us for two. All right. They've asked us for two, so we'll leave it there. All right. But can you spot the other isomer? All right, so you can um if you if you figured out the other isomer, could you um state what it is in the chat? All right, I'll be sure to look out so I can um say yes, you've got it. But I like organic chemistry. Drawing the structures, I find them therapeutic. Um, you should try it. Again, thank you for joining. Chem with Chem. Remember, if you found value um, in this, um, if you found value here, please. If you found value, please feel. Remember, this is your. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. And of course, share it with someone. And if you're having issues with your chemistry or prepping for your CXC chemistry exam, be sure to book a tutorial session with me. All right. Um, you can just send a message. You can put it in the chat and we'll take it from there. Or you can send a message to chemwithchem at gmail.com. Thank you for staying. Thank you for tuning in. Couple later.